February 13, 1950, the dawn of the Cold War. Off the west coast of Canada, U.S. Air Force bomber 075 is on a top secret mission. Deep inside the bomb bay, weaponeer Ted Schreier is arming a Mark IV nuclear weapon when the mission goes terribly wrong. Captain, we got a fire on one. Shut down engine number one. Number two's on fire. There's a four-foot flame coming out of that thing. Shut down engine number two. Roger. Setting down two. Without warning, two of its six engines erupt in flames. Inside the bomb bay, Weaponeer Schreier struggles to safe the weapon as the B-36 begins to plummet from the sky. Moments later, the bomber suffers a crippling blow as a third engine is engulfed in flames. We have three engines out. As 075 enters restricted airspace over Canada, the pilot orders his crew of 16 to prepare to abandon the crippled bomber. Crew 17, fires on engines 1, 3, and 5, ditching. Look for survivors and wreckage near Princess Royal Island. Just before midnight, the nuclear bomber disappears from the radar screen. Minutes later, the Pentagon receives the code word that a nuclear bomb has been lost. Three days later, most of the crew are rescued from Princess Royal Island on British Columbia's west coast. Among five crewmen never found is the man responsible for the bomb's safekeeping, weaponeer Ted Schreier. Official U.S. Air Force reports claim the bomber and her nuclear weapon are lost at sea. Now, more than half a century later, a leviathan of the Cold War emerges from the ice. The size of the debris field is just incredible. This is the center of where the plane was destroyed. High up in the mountains of northern British Columbia, a Canadian expedition team travels to the remote crash site of one of the U.S. military's most closely guarded secrets. What do you got? Listen, airplane 92075. The flight of 075 is the world's first broken arrow incident. We are seeing the first page of atomic weapons history being written at this moment. This is a story I've spent so much time on. There's no turning back. I want to find the truth. I want to find out what happened that night when 075 went down. Was bomber 075's Mark IV bomb armed for a nuclear detonation? Some secrets were meant never to be told. I don't think the mystery of 075 is one of them. 